Factors such as short runways, high altitudes, unpredictable weather, or even high conflict zones are just some of the reasons why the following runways are the craziest in the world. In this video, we'll take a look through 10 of the most dangerous airports you probably won't believe actually exist. Number 10. Juancho E. Rusquin Airport boasts the title of the airport with the shortest commercial runway in the world. The airport is situated on the island of Saba in the Caribbean, and its runway is a mere 400 meters long and only used for some of the smallest planes ever made. The airport is technically closed to all traffic, but upon receipt of a waiver document from the Netherlands Antill Civil Aviation Authority, aircraft are only then permitted to land. Number 9. Lukla Airport Flying into Nepal's Lukla Airport, the gateway to Mount Everest, demands courage and precision thanks to its tiny, treacherous runway perched off a steep cliff. For half a century, pilots have needed to navigate snow-capped peaks and endure erratic weather conditions to land on a runway just 500 meters long that's been carved into a mountain ridge and sits by a perilous 3-kilometer drop. A litany of deadly crashes, including one in October 2008 that killed all 18 on board except the pilot, has earned Luckla the nickname of the world's most dangerous airport. Number 8. Paro Airport Passengers flying into this remote region may have to take something to steady their nerves. The tiny airport nestled among the steep mountains of the Himalayas is said to be the most dangerous in the world. So treacherous is the landing that only eight pilots in the world are qualified to land there. And until July 2011, just one airline, Drug Air, was allowed to use the facility. Planes have to weave through the dozens of houses that are scattered across the mountainside, coming within feet of clipping the roofs. Number 7. Courchevel International Airport A French airport that serves Courchevel, a ski area. The airport has a very short runway of only 525 meters or 1,700 feet with a gradient of 18%. There is definitely a no-go-around procedure in this airport. The airport is considered dangerous having difficult approach, an upslope runway and a hill with ski runs. It's ranked as the seventh most dangerous airport in the world and even the pre-credit sequence of the James Bond film Tomorrow Never Dies was filmed at Courchevel for its danger. Number 6. Gibraltar International Airport the airport, which serves as the British Overseas Territory, has made full use of the minimal space and lack of flat land available by building its only runway through the heart of the peninsula's busiest road. It means that cars travelling along Winston Churchill Avenue must stop for planes several times a day. For about 10 minutes, traffic stays at a standstill to allow a flight to depart and arrive from UK cities including London, Birmingham and Manchester. The airport is just 500 yards from the centre of Gibraltar, making it the shortest commute of any major airport in the world. Number 5. Tonkontin International Airport Located 3.5 miles from downtown Tegucigalpa, Honduras, has long been considered to be one of the most difficult, dangerous landings for any large commercial airliner, thanks in part to its unusual mountainous location. Add to that the extremely short runway, one of the world's shortest, that's merely 6,000 feet in length, and you've got a recipe for armrest, death-gripping, butt-clenching nervous excitement. And frequent gusts of wind complicate matters even further. Number 4. McMurdo Air Station the good news is the runways are long. The bad news is they're made of ice and that the weather is very variable. Located on the shore of McMurdo Sound, the US Antarctic Station enjoys 12 months of below freezing average temperatures and is served by three runways. Pegasus Field is a 10,000 foot long blue ice airstrip, reassuringly named after Pegasus. Fly into McMurdo at the wrong time of year and your pilots will land using night vision goggles because it will be dark all day long. Number 3. Agati Aerodrome most people visiting this airport are shocked when the captain announces that it's time for landing. Looking like nothing more than just a strip of land protruding out from the heavenly blue waters, it is actually the Agati Airport in Lakshadweep, India. Designed for Dornier 228 type airplanes, this is the only one serving at the Lakshadweep Islands. The Airports Authority of India have supposedly planned to extend the runway to the nearby island of Kalpalti so that an Airbus 320 or Boeing aircraft could be accommodated, although it never happened. Perhaps there wasn't enough room. Number 2. Gustav III Airport Gustav in St. Jean is located in the Caribbean island of St. Barthélemy and has a reputation of being a very dangerous airport. The airport's short, sloping runway ends directly on the beach and is difficult to maneuver because of dangerously low descent over sunbathers and a steep hilltop at the other end. There have been several close calls at the Gustav Airport and many serious accidents along the notorious runway. Definitely a runway you don't want to land on. Number 1. Princess Juliana International Airport 
Swooping in over a packed beach, sometimes just 10 meters above the heads of holidaymakers, it's easy to see why Princess Juliana Airport on the Caribbean island of St. Martin is one of the least loved destinations for pilots. Despite being the second busiest airport in the Eastern Caribbean, the runway at Princess Juliana is just over 7,000 feet, less than half the length of many other international airports. To make things even more tricky for pilots, a large bank of hills at one end of the runway means aircraft must circle around and come into land from the sea, which takes them over Maho Beach, just a stone's throw from the runway and often packed with groups of holidaymakers. If you enjoyed the video, drop us a like and of course subscribe for more videos like this every week. Thanks for watching, guys.